dear sir. No, 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 no. no. Um, um, hi. Uh, no, no, no. Um, you should. <laughs> hi, Chad. I got your message that you needed some help. Thanks for coming, Mr. Caleb. Thanks. I, I just, I just don't know what to do. Bad haircut. No. Bad case of dandruff. No. Fleas. Fleas. <laughs> Chad, what's wrong? And why are you wearing all those hats? I'm trying to think. This could be a lot. Yeah, it's very funny. Listen to me. Now, you have heard of people saying, put, their, put your thinking cap on, right? Well, I thought, what if I were to put like 15 caps on? You know, 15 hats on? That'd make me like 15 times smarter. Yeah? Yeah. And you know what? I didn't even have a thinking cap on when I thought, dunk that up. <laughs> so what are you working on? An email. I got an email from my friend Nigel in Florida, and he wants to know how to be a missionary, right? I mean, he wants to know how to get started because he wants to be a missionary. But I just don't know what to tell him to do first. That sounds like a mission. I know. All that's missing is the top secret envelope. Unbelievable. Pick one. All right, I'll pick this one. Dear Chad, your mission is to learn what kids can do if they want to be a missionary. Signed, Mr. Caleb. How do you do that? I have my ways. Well, what if I would have picked another one? What then? Would I have gotten a different mission? Let me see. What if I would have picked this one? Hmm? Dear Chad, your mission is to find out what chocolate-covered flies taste like. I'm going to do the missionary one then. All right. You can have that one. Good. All right. Now, Mr. Caleb, I've gone over everything we've learned. I just don't know what to tell Nigel. Now, I know we've learned how to help missionaries, how they pack for the field, about different cultures, about the tools they use, the languages they speak. Even they can speak in, in you know, pictures if they don't know the language, but I just don't know what to tell Nigel. I mean, this is so hard. It's like, it's like a test. It's like a quiz. I just need a hint. I just need something. There you go. What? You just gave yourself a hint. I did? You did. A test, a quiz, a, qu a test, or a qu I, I should tell Nigel to go and take a quiz. What? Do you remember my trip to General Assembly a couple of years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you remember that? The little dog? No, yes, no, he's no. he's the, the cutest little no, dog. No, the, the um, trophy. The trophy, yeah, the New World Quiz trophy. Yes, I know that. <gasps> so you're saying I should tell Nigel to get involved in children's quizzing. Exactly. Well, I can't do that. I don't know how to quiz. How am I going to tell him how to quiz when I don't know how to quiz? Wait a minute, Mr. Caleb. Mr. Caleb. Now, you are the master quizzer. Could you please teach me how to quiz? Well, Chad, it starts with learning about the Bible. Each year, all the kids in quizzing all over the world study the same book in the Bible and learn different verses. It's great, and we get to go to quiz meets. That's where all the kids in quizzing get together and test their skills and memory. I've learned so much in quizzing, and the best part is hiding God's word in your heart. Come on, I'll show you. All right. Okay, I think you got the hang of it. Okay. Here we go. Question. Right, question. Who was placed? Who was no, placed? No, you don't, you don't. I don't repeat the question no, no. as you're, uh, I didn't know. Okay. Um, who was placed at the temple gate every day? Number one, a man crippled from birth. Okay. Number two, a blind child. Okay. Number three, both answers are correct. So a crippled man, a blind child, or both of them, All right? Answer. Answer. Now? Yes. Um, I think it, answer. I think it was the child. The correct answer was number one. That's okay, Chad. Try it again. You may return your cards. Okay. Question. What did Peter tell the crippled man? Number one. Silver or gold I do not have. Number two. 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Number three, both answers are correct. Answer. Carry the wand. The correct answer is number three. Woo yeah. I did it. It's all mine. It's yours. It's all yours. All right. Then. Good job, Chad. I think you finally got the hang of it. So mission complete then. Mission complete. Mission complete. Excellent. If you have a question about quizzing or missionaries or have a mission for us, or if you'd simply like to send a thought of love to Mr. Bear, feel free to email us. Thanks. All right, let's go try this out then. I gotta go tell Mondo. Let's go tell him. Yeah. <laughs>